this was all about the flexibility of our company and our product. Um, what Vodacom required was a technical facility in a rather unusual location in a very short period of time, and only eCenter could meet those needs. What eCenter is, is a customized, even architected, prefabricated building that's created and assembled in a, a clean room factory environment that we then shipped to Mozambique and then lifted five stories onto a car park because that was the only space that was available. We were able to offer Vodacom three very tangible benefits. These were guaranteed product, guaranteed budget, and guaranteed time. You can imagine their situation. They're a telecom operator in Mozambique, and they were seeking to create a disaster recovery facility to house technical equipment for their network. They'd only got so much time to put this together, only so much budget, uh, and they need equipment of a, a certain quality because this is, after all, being used to maintain a telecommunications network. And we were able to meet all of those three requirements. I think the most memorable aspect of this project for me was that it demonstrated our unique project model. For us at Flex Enclosure, the very same guys who build the modules in our factory in Sweden are the guys who assemble the e-center on site in Mozambique. As a result of this, they're intimately familiar with all of the equipment, all of the components, all the hookup procedures. And in this particular project, we created the e-center in just eight days. The reason we chose Flex Enclosure is that we were looking for a, uh, a way to significantly improve our reliability in case of a system outage uh, and give a continuous level of service to customers. And what we needed to do is, is put that backup system in place quickly uh, and efficiently and on time and to a very high quality. And what the Flex Enclosure system allowed us to do was to actually achieve that. Um, it de-risks the project significantly because a lot of the detailed technical work, the, the actual facilities themselves, it's all constructed back home in Sweden in a sterile environment. And the amount of civil construction that you have to do on site is minimized because it's much, um, all the physical, a lot of the physical infrastructure is the containers itself. Uh, and that's all done on site. When we're looking at a project like this, one of the things that we're looking for is, is a proven um, record of delivery. And if you sort of look at um, flex enclosure installations around Africa. There's been quite a few of them now. A lot of them have been in uh, environments that are quite harsh and difficult to deal with. And uh, we sort of took a level of comfort from that in prior installations in choosing flex enclosure for this installation here in Mozambique. The impact on um, our customers' user experience hopefully will be minimal because hopefully we'll never ever have to use this facility. But in the unlikely event that we have a, an issue on one of our major traffic nodes, then we're expecting the flex enclosure facility to just seamlessly handle the traffic that otherwise we would lose and therefore the customer um, would have a negative experience. By putting the flex enclosure um, facility in place, if we do have an outage, the customers won't notice it. And that's the real benefit to us. It gives us a level of backup that we didn't have before.